of YouTube Simulator posted on Twitter that they are testing crazy new updates right now. And I hopped in and oh my gosh, we're about to get exclusive access to new things in the game. What? Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's here's the place to lose YouTube channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And if you're not, you are literally about to because guys, YouTube Simulator is updating with a huge new update, a ton of new things, and I'm playing an exclusive testing version of that. That's why there's no subscribers, no views, no money, no SD card. I'm not just a, a noob who reset everything. I'm in the testing server. Now, only a select few amount of people know about this because of his Twitter account, and there's only been like 60 people playing. Now there's a little bit more that have joined me, but there's still not that many in this game. So this is pretty exclusive, and this is about an update that's gonna come out pretty soon. Keep in mind, this is all just things that are being tested. So some of this might not work perfectly. Some of them might not be final. This is all for testing. I just want to clarify that because I don't want the dev to be like, yo, why did you post a video and the game's broken? It might be broken right now, but it won't be on release, okay? So if you guys are hyped to see this exclusive sneak peek action, then smash that like button, right? We literally need so many likes. We literally need 10,000 likes, so you gotta smash the like button. Also, if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit that notification bell. Literally, I keep saying I'm gonna give away Robux in my Discord. I'm actually gonna do it, like, today as you're watching this. I'm gonna do it, okay? So go to the go down below, join the Discord. Don't spam that you're asking for Robux or whatever. I'm just gonna choose people randomly. So all you have to do is join it. You don't have to say anything in the Discord. I'm just gonna choose a random member. Um, but you have to be subscribed to the channel because I wanna give it to a loyal Blue Crew member. So make sure you do that if you'd like to enter that. Now, let's check out this stuff in the testing server update. So again, this is all just things that are being tested. It's going to happen in a future update pretty soon. It seems like it's almost done, but it's not quite finished, I'm assuming. So we're just testing it right now. You may notice some new things on the map. You literally have a shed. Now, I don't know what that is, but you have your studio and then you have a shed. And I'm excited to see what that is. You also have a crafting station. Wait, what's... Oh, cool. You can submit bugs to this guy here. It's actually really cool. I like that. So this is the crafting station. It's a brand new thing in game. That's coming. I gotta get like a screenshot of this, bro. Like, it's a bad screenshot and everybody's like in the way, but like, I, I just gotta, I just gotta screenshot that or something. Dang, like what the heck is this, bro? I'm so excited to see this in the game. So in this crafting station, if you click use, what happens? Wait, can you guys watch out? Okay. Whoa! So you can, oh my gosh, this is game changing. So I'm gonna move my face cam just for the time being. It looks like, you, I might just leave it here for now. I don't really know. But it looks like you can craft. You got different recipes and different materials. The chance of getting certain materials per click is this percentage. And then once you get these materials, you can then make certain things. This is the recipe. And the crafting works just like Minecraft. So you basically do this, do this, and do this. That is actually crazy. So you basically craft just like Minecraft and you can make all these different play buttons. This game is getting pretty intricate, I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty sick. So all of these different things, basically this play button, if you make this, it'll increase your chance of getting stone material. And then this one will increase your chance of getting gold and eventually they'll be higher and higher. This is so cool, by the way. I'm so excited for this update. So basically you can get all these different materials from just um, you can get all these different materials just by clicking and you have a small chance. So basically as you're clicking over time, you'll get one. I, is it for editing or for recording or for both? I don't know about that, but I'm assuming it's for editing. So eventually these, these allow you to craft insane things and the recipes are tokens. You, oh my gosh. So these are really hard to make eventually. This one increases your boost multiplier by three. And it's a crazy dark matter ring. And then this, put your plaques inside these chests so they don't take up each. <gasps> wow, that's insane. That is insane. Okay, so in order to craft, we're gonna need to do a lot of clicking. And again, you get a thing per, per like randomly per chance by just clicking. So first we're gonna start off by disabling anybody being able to join my thing and being able to trade me. Again, this is the testing server, so I'm not gonna have all my normal stuff that I normally have, um, but let's go ahead and check out the shed as well. 
I don't know what this is. So here's the shed. Is the shed just like a second area? I'm assuming the shed is like your second room. I don't really know. Maybe they're converting the second room into a shed. I don't actually know. No, because you still have your second room. Whoa, and they made the second room bigger. So the second room is even bigger and you have a shed. I don't know if the shed has a specific purpose other than just storing things like your normal area does, but there is a shed here. So maybe like your items get stored here. Like what exactly happens in the shed? Oh, and I got a dollar. Use this to buy cool things. I actually have a dollar in the game. All right, let's check out everything else and see if there's anything new. I know I'm kind of spoiling the update for whenever we do an update video, but just remember that when we do an update video, I'm just going to cover all this again, but in the real game and get all the best stuff, okay? That's what's going to happen. But there are really cool things coming soon. So let's check out the item shop because you have dollars now. Is that like you buy specific things? I don't see anything new here. You guys got to like the video, by the way, if you haven't already. This is... This is actually really exciting. Gives me a lot of ideas for future games too that I want to do. Like the crafting stuff is really cool. All right, let's go into the upgrades. I don't think there's anything new. I don't think they added anything new here. No new cameras, no new computer as far as I know. They did make this room. Did they make it bigger? No, I don't think they did. And they still have this button that doesn't work with the token <laughs> it still doesn't work this is really really cool again i don't know if there's any other secrets if you guys find any other secrets that they added definitely let me know but again we're just checking out the update so on twitter he said help me beta test the new youtube simulator update there's codes to get you a bunch of stuff for the test server so these will not work for you guys but i'm gonna use these right now so yes, 10 tokens okay now let's try another one um diamonds it work oh it worked and then another one chest so these are just to demo the new items and it's only in the test server i'm very very excited so he said if it's too hard too complicated too simple let me know if you find any bugs um especially if they're related to new features in the game so he's basically just asking for opinions on that new stuff and that's what we're testing right now so it seems like the new things or I don't know if he like, I don't know if he changed V bucks to dollars. Maybe he did that. I think he, I think V bucks are now dollars, but I could be wrong. I'm not really sure. Maybe V bucks are another currency, but there's dollars in the game now. And now there's materials you can get. And now there's crafting. And now there's a shed. So many new things added to this update. I can't wait to check it out. So let's go in here and start off with uh, our chest. So here are the new chests. Oh my gosh, look at that, bro. That thing is crazy. So if you open it, you can see that there are plaques that you can put inside. So you can place plaques. In <laughs> that guy's just sitting at my computer. You can place plaques inside and then save space because that only takes up one space. And then if you craft, now that I have these tokens, um, this thing, in order to craft it, I need a token, I need crystals, but I also need the uh, the stones. And to get a stone, it's a 0.2%. So I'm gonna need to get a lot of this wood. Let's go ahead and just start clicking, I guess. I guess we just start clicking and hope that we get one of those materials. Oh, I can't. So again, does it work with the camera or is it only editing? Like, I don't actually know. I'm assuming it's just editing, but... It... What'd I just get? I got dollars. Okay. Wait, I'm getting dollars. I'm literally, I'm getting dollars right now. Oh, and I got wood. So it is with recording too. So while recording, you can get them. While recording, you can get wood. So it's it's all clicking things. It's not just editing. That's really, really good. And since it's a 2% chance, since you click so often, especially when you're auto clicking, you'll probably get a lot of this material. what I just get? what I just get? Oh, I got a rock too. So I have four wood and one rock. So if I keep doing this, then I'll get enough to craft that wooden play button and that will allow me to get more wood, which will make this whole process easier. So that's what the point of this is. You basically just keep on doing it and go further and further. All right, let's keep going. You can hear when you get this stuff too. It makes a sound. Let me know in the comments if 
if, if you guys like this, what they should change, what they should do differently, or if you just like it entirely. I need nine wood to craft this thing. I'm getting a lot of dollars. And again, I don't know if that's the replacement for V-Bucks or if it's a new thing, but what are dollars? What do they do? I have no idea. I have no idea what dollars do. Somebody said, get a VIP and go to it. I might do that because there's so many people surrounding me. I might go to a VIP server, but I have eight wood. Let's try to get one more. Let's try to get just one more wood. And then we'll make this button to see what that's like. Again, 2% chance as I'm clicking. This update will not be out as you're watching this video, most likely, because I am demoing it right now. But once it's finally out, I'm gonna grind this out and uh, it's gonna be sick. So again, leave your comments. Maybe the owner will watch this video. Leave your comments down below, like if you think they should change anything or add anything to this. Did I get a ninth yet? Nice, okay. So now I should be able to craft. So. Oh, I gotta drag it. Can I shift click? Okay. It's weird that you click in here, you just click it to remove it, but you have to drag it. So it'd be kind of nice if you just clicked it, but I guess dragging it kind of makes sense. So here's that. And now I can craft. And I just made a play button. So now I have that and I can place it, I guess. Yeah, here it is. So now I have that. So that wooden play button is giving me a multiplier now. So that wooden play button gives me a multiplier. And now, I don't know if this updated. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, so this increased my chance of getting stones. So look, now it's 0.41. It used to be different. It used to be like 0.3 or something, I'm pretty sure. So now it's increased. So my percentage chance of getting stones is increased. To make this next one, I gotta make with stones. So basically you wanna make a bunch of these, a bunch of these uh, wooden ones and then you just have a really high chance of getting stones. Let's let's try again. Dude, I'm getting a lot of dollars. I really wanna know if there's something that dollars are for at this point in the game. Because I, again, I don't think, oh look, there's something in there. I, I think that's new. Um, I don't think these are the replacement for V-Bucks because V-Bucks were a use. Remember you'd click use? So dollars are used to buy cool things. Where do you buy these cool things? Where do you buy the cool things with dollars? You know what I'm saying? Is there something that I'm missing? I don't know. There's gotta be like another area or part of the game. Oh my, you must have at least 1 billion subscribers. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know you need a billion subscribers to get in there. So I can't get in there right now just because, uh, can I can I buy stuff from you? No, okay, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> the bathroom is still useless, it seems. Um, but yeah, I don't know where you use the dollars. And if I'm stupid and I'm like forgetting or not realizing where you use them, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna ask someone. Anybody know what dollars in this game are used for? All right, I'm gonna ask and see what they say. Is there any secrets that he's just like hidden back here? I feel like I've never checked. I don't think there is. So nobody knows what dollars are used for. And again, I don't know what the shed is for. Like, I'm assuming the shed is just like, dollars are used to buy some stuff in the shop. But the stuff in the shop is, it costs money. Wait. Oh, wait, did they change it? Oh, they changed it. They changed it, guys. So dollars are now this currency. Oh, wow. So yeah, so V-Bucks are different. Dollars, so look, when you go into, when you exit here, you have normal money, right? And then when you go in here, you have the actual dollars currency. So it's a new currency and they changed the prices of all of this stuff and now you spend dollars on it. That's actually pretty interesting. I don't know why they did that, but it's kind of cool just to have a new currency to grind. I can't really think of why they did it. Maybe it made the whole like getting V-Bucks thing easier. I'm not really sure, but that's what dollars are used for. So we solved it. So the new things coming in this update, dollar currency in the shop and different shop prices, insane amounts of materials and unlocks upon clicking while editing and recording. Tons of different plaques and things to craft with the new crafting station. A shed, which I think is just another area to store stuff. I mean, it looks different. Like it looks clearly different. It has like wood and everything. So I, I'm assuming, 
I guess it's not different. I guess you can literally just place things. But for some reason, it seems like it's different. And I like how they actually like made tabs for everything now. So it's a lot easier to find things. I like that a lot. But yeah, I don't know exactly what this shed is all about. All I know is I can place a lot of these chests and I don't really know what the point of them is, but like, this is pretty sick. I'm gonna put them all over the place. Miscellaneous, look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna cover the whole place with it. <laughs> look at all these, bro. So yeah, these are like really hard to obtain and these are the things that like, these are the things that eventually are like really, really hard to get, but I have a lot of them because of testing. So eventually you could put four play buttons and plaques or play buttons or plaques, yeah, plaques all across and it'll just take up way less room. That's the whole appeal of those. So those are like to have the best layout possible. That's what you need. So I'm going to keep grinding as soon as this update comes out. I'm excited. I'm going to try and craft this next play button thing, but I'm not going to do all of them because it's just testing. We're just showing you guys the update, but I'm going to try and get enough stones real quick. So. Let's see how much faster I get stones now. Like, you can basically hear when I get stones. Like, you can hear that noise is for dollars. I, oh, I think I got one. No, I didn't. Yeah, you can hear a noise. It's like a rock sounding hit. And then you can also hear the wood. It almost sounds like something's being hammered. You know what I mean? And you can, oh, there's wood. I can actually see plus one. I didn't notice that. <laughs> You can actually see plus one when you get the wood. It's hard to see because there's so many pop-ups. Oh, there's a rock. I got a rock. So yeah, I basically have to keep on doing that until I get nine rocks. So let's do that real quick. I'll come back in a second. We'll have nine rocks. And I wasn't able to get a lot of rocks. Honestly, I've only tried for a few minutes, but it's, it's clearly going to be this auto clicker thing that's going to make things easier. But I am getting a lot of wood because that's a 2%. So now what I can do, since I'm still not getting any rocks, wait, wait till I get one more wood. I can make another play button out of the wood and that's going to make it so that I can, uh, I wish there was, I wish there was a way to click. If you're watching owner, I wish, you know how you can click to remove them. I wish you could just click instead of drag, but I guess it kind of makes sense. It's just, or shift click or something. You, you can't shift click either. Let's drag all these in. I can almost make another one, but look, that's going to make one of these. And now I can place this. And I guess it doesn't matter if you place it in your shed or your studio, but I'm going to place another one of these. And now I have an even higher chance of getting the material. So if you look 0.64 now, so it's almost a 1% chance to get the stone. Still kind of hard, but again, since you're clicking so much, you're all, I'm almost gonna get a stone every hundred clicks. You know what I mean? So eventually you just wanna get every single material as much as possible, keep making a ton of those play buttons, then make a ton of the stone ones, and then you'll eventually, see, I got another stone. Then you'll eventually get like ridiculous amount of play buttons, ridiculous amount of gold and crystals, and you'll just make a ton of those boxes. Like they gave us 10 chests in this server for testing, but obviously that's gonna be really hard to make in the main game. So let me know what you guys think of this update. If you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna see more sneak peek content like this, well, I, I don't really have the option to do that. I just kinda got lucky because the owner tweeted about this. And again, I'm not really sure if he's like gonna be mad if I posted this, but just keep in mind that if something doesn't work or something's not final, this is literally a test. This is the testing server. It's not the official game. Um, and I'm sure it's not a surprise considering he tweeted it. So I think it should be fine that we post this. But again, once the update's out, we got to make sure to support it. Of course, tapping God stuff coming soon. I made a video talking about that and there's going to be way more things coming soon. And I teased my anime game in the last update, my anime battle tycoon game. I'll have more info on that. I'm so excited for that. I can't wait. So this game updating, tapping gods, anime battle tycoon another game that i'm working on with the gang and a lot of things coming soon i'm really excited i hope you guys are as well and now i have a 0.64 so it barely went up but the chances went up guys that's that's all that matters wait did i, did I yeah i put it down yeah it's a 0.64 so it didn't really go up that much but at least it's higher i gotta keep grinding but i'm not gonna do that because it's the testing server so i'll see you guys when the game's finally updated but this is something really cool to look forward to thanks for watching I post two videos every single day, so make sure you check out another one while you're at it. And bye! Oh yeah, I shaved my head. <laughs> bye.